Well, I'm, I'm just here to introduce uh, Jovan Golic, uh, head uh, of the action line of Privacy, Security and Trust of 8 Digital, used to be known as uh, 8 ICT Labs, which is a research organization in Europe which uh, manages several billions of euros of funding for close to market uh, research uh, and companies. There are co-organizers with us of this conference, of this free and safe in cyberspace conference, which is the first edition. We hope it's going to be one of many. We're already doing a, a small ed a Brazilian edition in one month, and we're looking at uh, Washington, so we're, we're hopeful. And uh, so uh, without further ado, I will uh, introduce Yoman, which will frame uh, this, uh, this conference. Thank you, Yoman. Thank you very much, Rufo. I also wish you a warm welcome here. I'm very pleased that uh, I have you here. We'll have uh, the, uh, about uh, 15, 20 speakers and then uh, panelists, and uh, it, it will be uh, uh, very, very busy. So uh, the, the main of uh, I would also like to express special thanks to, to Open Media Cluster and uh, Rufo. Without their enthusiasm and energy, uh, we uh, uh, could not have uh, made it. The action line for uh, privacy, security, and trust uh, uh, tends to promote uh, innovation, business, and uh, entrepreneurial education in European Union. And uh, EIT ICT Labs, now uh, called EIT Digital, uh, uh, their main objective is to strengthen the ICT competence in European Union. So we need to be better in, the, in all uh, these aspects. Uh, as you can imagine, privacy, security, and trust uh, related to ICT technologies is very much uh, related also to, to uh, cyber security and uh, cyber privacy, because uh, the, this digital world can <coughs> be identified with uh, cyberspace, in fact. And then uh, a common line of thinking uh, uh, in this area is that there is a trade-off between uh, security and privacy. Uh, and in fact, uh, uh, they say there is a trade-off between uh, uh, sec uh, cyber security and privacy. And then that's a sort of misleading and blocking. It's blocking uh, both cyber security, uh, cyber, uh, cyber privacy, but also it is blocking business in this area. So why? Th this is why uh, the action line is very interested to move forward <laughs> Uh, for, from the current situation to change the trend. Why is this misleading? Because, uh, in fact, there is no trade-off uh, between cyber security and cyber privacy. Uh, if, if we are deal dealing only with bits, so if we are only in digital world, cyber privacy also means cyber security. It also means uh, users control over data. So if, if you don't have cyber privacy, you cannot have real cyber security because the data will be vulnerable to cyber attacks. So th there is no cyber security there. So why is that uh, uh, misconception? Because people tend to mix uh, security in the digital world with security in physical world. So in physical world, there is indeed a uh, trade-off between uh, uh, physical, say, uh, security and physical privacy. So people moving around, surveillance, and all these things. And uh, all the discussions are stuck there. So th th then we cannot move forward because uh, people also would like to, uh, to have uh, cyber security. So if you say that it, it is in collision with cyber privacy, then we don't move forward. The other reason uh, for is the mixing or in fact of cyber security with cyber surveillance because there is indeed trade-off between cyber surveillance and cyber privacy. But cyber surveillance is not the same as cyber security. So it's only part cyber monitoring, uh, monitoring in cyberspace, traffic monitoring, anomaly detection, security operation centers is only one part of, of cyber security. So it is uh, wrong to mix cyber surveillance with cyber security. And then in order to move on, uh, to, to, to change the trend, because the current situation is not unsatisfactory, we also organized this event. Of course, uh, uh, we cannot by, uh, by a single event change anything, but uh, we can try to raise awareness about the problems uh, and the solutions. So we would like to have both cybersecurity and cyber privacy, and also lawful 
a cyber surveillance. And then uh, in order to have lawful cyber surveillance and uh, also cyber privacy and cyber security, we need uh, secure and trustworthy technologies. So we need uh, secure uh, software and hardware, first of all. And then in, uh, in, uh, today we will discuss that issue first. So is it possible to have meaningful, trustworthy technologies? Or otherwise, uh, there is no hope that we can achieve uh, secure uh, software or secure hardware as platforms for all these solutions that, that come on the top. Uh, and then uh, we will also see about the techniques. So there are techniques. It's not true that, uh, that we cannot uh, have a lawful cyber surveillance. But currently, because of many things, we'll discuss that later, uh, the situation is blocked. And then there are no such solutions applied. So there is this uh, block of both for business. Uh, we see that in the action line, so uh, for, for business and also for uh, many techniques, in fact, for cyber privacy that are out there, that are applicable, that are practical now, they are not applied. And then uh, uh, one of the reasons, I believe, uh, main reason is, in fact, this. So this relation between uh, cyber investigation, lawful cyber investigation in terms of cyber surveillance on one hand and uh, cyber privacy and security on the other. Of course, the other reason is uh, the current situation in cyberspace. Uh, big uh, service providers, uh, massive user profiling without user consent, selling this data on the market, also black market, and all sorts of things. So basically, this current situation in cybersecurity is not satisfactory. It needs to be improved. The current situation in cyber privacy is very bad. So we are losing, in fact, the, the, the control, because the control is the main thing here. And then uh, we will also touch upon, uh, in the last part, uh, some artificial intelligence aspects because these ICT technologies are bringing us into the era of smart things, of uh, smart machines, uh, interconnected world, humans talking to machines, machines talking to each other. Machines now, they all run on software. They have some processing power. Uh, in decades to come, they will have much more processing power than humans, whether they can, in fact, reach humans in terms of what is known as uh, intelligence. Uh, that's questionable. We will not talk about these philosophical things in, in one of the panels today, in the last panel today. But the point is that, uh, uh, is that we need uh, secure software also for that and hardware. Uh, without that, in fact, uh, uh, in this smart world uh, uh, to come, inevitably to come, and uh, it also brings uh, lots of business opportunities, uh, if we don't have secure platforms, then humans there is a danger that humans will lose control over the machines. So this is, uh, this is why we need, it's very serious, in fact. We need to control all this uh, software and hardware part. How to do that? Platforms for, for, for smart things around us and, and machines. So this is, this is, the, this, this is also the, the, the last panel today. Uh, uh, I, I now would li uh, like to give a uh, floor to, to Rufo again. Uh, maybe he will talk more about the, the panels and. Uh, Yes, I'm not speakers. Thank you very much.